Well, you know, for most of us, masking up during the pandemic has just become a way of life. I keep telling people it's not the pandemic that they ask me to mask, it's keep America beautiful. I said, Please wear your mask. Well, but anyway, beside that, the news, but now the CDC is issuing new mask guidance. They are, and it involves using community level metrics to help people decide when it's best. And here to talk about the new guidance is Dr. Timothy Quinn. Dr. Quinn, thanks for being with us. Hey, thank you for having me. Now, exactly what does the CDC mean by community level metrics? Well, well, basically, the CDC is using new determining factors as far as how they decide how safe it is to wear a mask or not wear a mask. And the good news is, according to the CDC, those who are healthy do not need to wear a mask indoors in most areas in the United States. Now, these metrics are divided into low, medium, and high, and it's based on three uh, factors. Number one, COVID-19 hospitalizations. Number two, hospital capacity in that community. And number three, the number of new COVID uh, cases. And the good news is in our area, and I did a, a search on the CDC website, and I looked at Rankin County, I looked at Madison County, and I also looked at Hines County, and all of these are considered medium, meaning if you're someone that's healthy, you don't necessarily have to wear a mask anymore indoors, and, and, and now we can, we can relax a little bit and get closer to the normal living that we've been waiting for for so long. Well, Dr. Quinn, even, even though the infections are going down right now, it, it, I don't guess we need to throw the mask away because there's always a possibility there could be like another uptick. Mm -hmm. that, that's true. But just understand that the CDC, the Mississippi State Department of Health, and all the other organizations that are making these decisions are maintaining that they will stay fluid. And basically what this means is if the situation changes, then the guidelines will change. But right now, it's looking like it's safe in areas that have been determined safe by these new metrics by the CDC. You don't have to wear the mask indoors. But if the situation changes, then the policy will change. So this is what we really need going forward is a scenario where we're getting out of the reactive emergency state more to just the maintenance state, just trying to get back to normal as much as possible. Dr. Quinn, what do you see happening next in this pandemic? Hey, I see things continuing to get better. Now note, a lot of this is because people are developing immunity. There, there, there are multiple ways, three that I want to speak of. Number one, getting your vaccine. I still have my vaccine valve for when I got my first Pfizer shot way back when. But also number two, Individuals who have contracted coronavirus, they develop some immunity after they survive because your body builds those antibodies. And then number three, those that have gotten some type of uh, antibody treatment uh, for coronavirus, they have some immunity as well. So with so many people developing immunity, we're getting closer to that herd immunity. And even though some people have those breakthrough infections where they can get coronavirus again after they've been vaccinated or they've had back. Uh, coronavirus, they still have some fight in them so that they have less of a chance of getting very sick, uh, getting hospitalized, and or losing their life. Yeah, well, sounds like good news all the way around, Dr. Really Quinn. Bad. Thank you so much for being here. You brighten up our Monday. Always do. Hey, thank you for having me. Good news today. <laughs> hey, it get is. it out of the way. Let's <laughs> take a look at the uh, Mississippi.